Welcome, Dragon Champions, to another a Dragon Law Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. Uh, thank you so much for all the support that's been out there uh, lately. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the top characters in each section, um, basically in each class. So we're talking about defenders. Uh, you know, we're going to break them down to as defenders, healers, uh, DPS, uh, DPS, and leader. Uh, at the moment, I'm not going to go into tacticians, rangers, rogues, gladiator, dragon slayers. I don't, I don't think that's necessary. Um, but what we are going to talk about is my opinion on who the best tank, uh, best single target DPS, the best leader, and the best healer are in the game right now. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right on into it. Uh, I think that we'll start uh, first with who is the best leader in the game. And I think that hands down, that's Patriarch Chi. Uh, let's look at his leadership ability right now. If it's maxed out, it says all ally healing spells apply shields equal to 50% of the healing and all attacks by allies from the order restore 20% of their maximum shields. Absolutely amazing ability. Uh, it this one right here all allied healing so it doesn't have to be an order healer uh it can be any healer uh and it, it just makes for a great leadership it gives you lots of survivability uh and that sort of thing he also just as a character his shield uh he gives allies uh you know a ton of shield 700 percent of his magic damage and also removes two debuffs from an ally two debuffs from an ally so you have a you know debuff removal uh, and that is uh, what what he does. Now, he also, let's go ahead and also talk about, let's move on to who is the best tank currently in the game. I think that right there is Tromgard. Look, popularity 103%. I think that that number is a little odd, uh, that it's over 100%, but people love Tromgard, and there's a good for good reason uh drum guard has a stun on his basic uh right 35 percent chance to stun a target for one turn uh he gets a first turn taunt as well as he you know gets counter attack when he uses that for two turns so he can get that right out the gate he can heal himself with regeneration and also remove buffs on himself uh, when he has when it's fully done he can remove all debuffs on himself um, of course, except for ability block, uh, but he also recovers 10% of his own health uh, when doing that and regeneration. So that's really, really amazing too. Uh, he also, he, of course, you know, as it, when in defensive stance, he gains physical armor increases. And when in offense stance, he gains physical damage increases. Uh, so 30% on each one it's really good it makes him makes him so he hits pretty hard for a tank um and then of course his leadership ability uh while it, it's it's a good one it's not the best uh but it's good i've seen a lot of people in arena and on the in the tournaments use his leadership ability to give himself i you know generally it's just him as the only orc in the team but 30 percent more potency and 30 percent more tenacity so he he can't be stunned and he's stunning a ton and uh i know that when that happens to me uh, it's super frustrating but it's a great mechanic also i would tell you that if you're going to use him make sure you make sure you get any potency on your northwest rune uh so he can land those i've actually geared him out for speed um i gave speed set for him because you want him to be fast uh it's a little it's a little odd uh but you do you want trump guard to be fast you want him to taunt and you want him to continue to be able to taunt over and over and over again uh, you may want, also want to get his tenacity up as well, um, because if your tenacity is low, right, you, you're going to get him stunned by the other Traum guard. And so uh, how I tend to do that is I tend to hit him with Soleus's, um, I hit the wrong button there, but <laughs> let's go back over to Soleus. I tend to hit him with Soleus's am arm Ammo's Blessing, which heals the ally for 40% of their max out and applies tenacity increase and cheat death and that sort of thing. Um, if I if I feel like their other Trom guard is just you know just doing a lot of stunning and that sort of thing, so just a little bit of a tip there. Uh, next, let's talk about who the best healer is in the game. Um, if we look at healers, uh, we can just we can just go through here. But I think it's really I think it's pretty straightforward who the best healer is in the game. I can't I find healer. Where are you healer? There you are. I think there's no doubt uh, the best healer in the game is Solius. 
at the present moment. No doubt about that. His uh, he's got two heals. Of course, we just talked about Ammo's Blessing, uh, but let's go to his Light Wave heal, right? They did nerf this before it ever came out, and you can see why they did, um, but 550% of his magic damage is just a ton of healing, um, and so he's he's he does just a great amount. I mean, he can heal my Traumguard almost to full from death, um, but he's just an overall great healer. Of course, he's got the uh, assist from Nightiel, uh, their synergies, um, and that sort of thing as well, and a chance to restore a turn of a random ability on his basic, uh, which is great. Um, and then, of course, you know he's got a great leadership. I don't have it maxed out because I'm not using it, but his leadership is not... Uh, it's not the best leadership. I, I mean, it could be a great order leadership, but I think if you're going to go a full order team, that Patriarch Chi is the way to go. I think that a lot of times if you're just going with a team in general, Patriarch Chi may be the way to go. And then, um, especially for the tower, if, you, if you're, I, you know, I've heard, I know people have heard me say it, but Patriarch Chi for the tower is phenomenal. Um, but Inspiration also, you know, he gives... When the battle starts, he gives all human tanks, receives ar armor increase for three turns. All human allied and healers, tacticians receive cheat death, and all human fighters. So this is great. His inspiration is great for humans. It's almost like a, a leadership for humans, uh, you know, on top of, uh, you know, his other leadership. And you don't even have to have him in the leader slot to give that. And so uh, that is also very, very nice. Uh, so Solius, I believe, is the best healer in the game. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I thought I hit the button. There we go. Excellent. Uh, let's go to damage dealers. Uh, I... I have decided that single target DPS in this game, when you're when you're new, when you're starting out new, it feels like you can't do enough damage. I see it in global chat all the time. I've seen comments. Um, they've had people talk to me about it. it. You can't ever seem to do enough damage. Well, there's there's two things about that. One, you need to ability. You need to get your abilities up. Uh, that's a big part of it. And as when you're getting, when you get to higher levels, your single target DPS is is absolutely crazy so let's look at night DL. uh she's one of the best single target dpsers she's not the best wonder lula is the best single target dps and probably just the best dps in general in the entire game but night DL has great synergies with soleus and she's probably one of the top deal damage dealers in the game um she can remove buffs debuffs from herself and Solius and buffs from the random allied and she removes two buffs if Solius is on the battlefield so <laughs> talking about removing taunt uh has the ability to remove taunt uh that can happen like I said it's not it, it's not guaranteed that you're going to remove the taunt it's not guaranteed that you know what buffs you're going to remove but you are going to be removing two buffs every time she um uh, at this every time she starts a turn uh her she has the ability to give damage increase to all her allies right at the beginning um and then she can sh apply ability block as well as she shoots through the shields uh 50 chance to shoot through the shields on her basic at 240 percent of her matic damage absolutely phenomenal uh, when you pair her, of course, with Solius, and when you compare her with Wonder Lula, um, and you you can see how good this is because Wonder Lula, of course, she her attack penetrates the shields and it guarantees critical hit uh, while invisible. So, let's talk about Wonder Lula for a second. I believe she's the, currently the MVP. Uh, I think that she is the best character in the game. She is squishy. There's no doubt about that. Uh, if And there's not a whole lot you really can do to raise that up. And you may not want to. Um, this is why a fast Trom guard is important. Uh, if you can get a fast Trom guard, you might be able to save her. If someone goes right after her right away, there's not, there's, you know, there's not a whole lot you can do about that. But she is phenomenal. Uh, let's talk about why her basic is an amazing ability. It deals 220% physical damage, uh, with 
that to the target if the target has more health than her this attack does 300 percent physical damage and it does 50 percent more critical damage it, i've had some crazy crits um with her uh 36 000 earlier today uh, at the end of the video i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna I'll fight somebody in my arena uh the, the, all the characters i'm talking about are actually the characters that i'm using on my arena team uh, and the reason why I'm doing that is because they all have synergies together and they work quite well. Uh, you know, her demonic scourge, I've recently finished the entire campaign on the order side, and this really helped. I don't even have it all the way up. Um, as you can see, I'm only getting 15% more damage for each a demon, but at, towards the end of the campaign, um, on the order, there's a lot of demons and she just <laughs> does so much damage to them. Uh, and then her... A cloak of shadows which of course gives it gives invisibility to all everybody else on the field uh, except for the tanks except for the tanks and she can do that on her second turn now people have been pointing out that this ability is very similar but a lesser ability of Kara's and they're right the problem is that if you pair her with Tromgard you don't necessarily need it Tromgard has his own counter attack you, you know, right so you don't need to add counterattack to Trump guard when you have Wonder Lula. Uh, she, he's going to be counterattacking anyway. And so Kira, I use her better with Salvador um, because Salvador has a, he can gain physical damage and gain shields, right? 40% chance to gain shields equal to 10% of his max health uh, when when he does a basic so i've been using them together um you know in in that sort of thing it helps keep him more survive and of course he attacks and counter attacks and that sort of thing so i that's where i've been using her currently uh but that's where i'm at so those are the who i think are the best let's just recap patriarch she's the best leader i believe in the game still um with his ability to add shields and just sur overall survivability uh he's just he's a great addition to any team wonder lula right now is the mvp she is just massive amounts of damage she's she's weak but she does so much damage make her fast so she goes first that's really what you're looking to do um nighty l absolutely phenomenal dps she just just goes so well with soleus and if you have soleus and you have night el you should be running them together uh, they are absolutely phenomenal trom guards the best tank i believe in the game i think it's pretty self-explanatory i think everybody else feels the same on that and soleus is the best healer in the game right now um and we'll see if that changes as time goes by but as of right as of today 11 17 2019 soleus is the best so let's go in real quick uh let me see if i have an arena team that i can even play that won't just blow me up as you can see i'm 78,732 and i'm ranked 10 right and uh we have their Wonder Lula here is 206. I think I am slower than that. Um, but as you can see, this is a very similar team where they're adding Freezard onto the team um, and no tank, which I think is very, very interesting. So let's just go ahead and attack him and see what happens. I, I don't expect to win this battle, um, but I do want to I do want to show it. If their Wonder Lula attacks my Wonder Lula right away, then we're done um i think to a certain extent because we may never get to their you know get through to them but and she does attack and she doesn't she hits but doesn't kill me my guy does 27 percent right so we need to get we need to get trom guard going come on trommy so we can go ahead and drop drop this and hit taunt and then we'll go ahead and also trying to save her life here the best we can so now we've stunned Wonder Lula. She does have cheat death. We are going to go ahead and just stealth, just, just to be on the safe side. They don't have a healer, so we're going to cheat death there. Um, right, there we go. And then we're going to go after Freezard because he's going to cause problems. He, got, he cheats death once. And... Boom, there we go. Now you're seeing Wonder Lula in action. All right now we don't have a tank anymore, but we do have. So let's see. I think we're going to be fine. Let's go after the Soleus, I believe, is probably the best way to go. Um, there we 
There you go. And as you can see, we're just going to go ahead and protect Soleus. We're going to stealth. Only reason why we're stealthing is because we want to be able to hit through these shields. Right? We're going to get enough uh, to be able to do that here. And so we'll hit. Big hit. Big hit here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and just slow it down. Boom, right through the shields, 19,000. So, as you can see, Wonder Lula, this is why she's the MVP. Like, this team is so much, so much, has so much better power than me. Boom, 3,400. <laughs> 3,400 on the basic with a critical, right? Tromgard's fast. Tromgard's fast, and we use Tromgard, and Tromgard died. Not a big deal. We gotta protect Wonder Lula and that sort of thing. There, the AI for some reason or another, the AI went after my Wonder Lula. Couldn't kill her. Couldn't kill her in one hit, which gave me the ability to go right after them and put them on the defensive. So that's what that's what we're looking at. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, I. I do. I have been uh, doing a little bit more streaming here on YouTube. Um, this game, uh, this this game. Uh, so you know, I, I really do appreciate that. Uh, drop a like on this if you did like the video, please. And if you are new around here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh, so you don't miss a thing. And uh, like I said, I am going to plan on doing more videos after this about other team, other characters, where they rank. But I think these are the best current healer best current tank best current healer uh best current leader in the game uh, as of right now so thank you so much for every uh for all the support and we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect